The inside track in the NFC North is up for grabs when the Chicago Bears host the Minnesota Vikings on Sunday Night Football Week 11. Chicago is on a three-game winning streak and sent a message across the division with a dominating victory over Detroit. Minnesota is off a of bye week, having won four of its last five, but the Windy City has not been kind to the Vikings, who are just 3-12 and 12 ATS in their last 15 trips to Soldier Field. Jason, what's the spread say about this rivalry? Yeah, this one opened Bears minus three, early money taking Minnesota, down to minus two and a half, maybe some three still out there. Uh, I'm not sure who the pressure is on in this game. So you've got Chicago at home with a chance to really put a stranglehold on this division. And they're kind of playing with house money. They're playing above expectations. And then Minnesota coming off a bye. Pumped a lot of money into this team. This is a big game for them too. I think the, the pinch is kind of on the Vikings here. And I think that ignites this team on Sunday Night Football. Uh, we saw the claws come out of this Vikings defense. They had... Uh, 10 sacks against Matt Stafford and the Lions. The return of Everson Griffin, he had one and a half sacks despite not playing all season. He is the foundation of this defense. He was what it was last year. And I think he's going to be the foundation of this defense that they build upon in the second half of the season. Uh, Trubinsky's been operating with a pretty clean pocket the last three weeks. He's only been sacked four times. QB rating over 113. The one blip that he did have on the radar was against the Bills. A sneaky good defense. And the Bears' defense actually did most of the damage on offense in that one, scoring two defensive touchdowns. I think Minnesota comes after this kid. I think they test him. I like Minnesota to win this game outright. All right, it's interesting. You look at the raw stats, and they love Chicago. Second ranked by EPA. Ninth ranked offense. First ranked defense. Minnesota, about six points per game worse. But I think that, that overstates the, the numbers for Chicago. They've had the easiest schedule. You look at the average EPA of teams they faced. Easiest schedule by far. Adjust for that, and all of a sudden those numbers are much closer. I think a big big news for me is going to be what we hear about Stefan Diggs and Adam Thielen leading into this game. Two huge weapons. We saw, and we saw Diggs miss the game last game, and Thielen, though he played, wasn't very effective and was having a calf issue. Their health is going to be key for the Vikings. <laughs>